Oh no, she can't mass counter. I lied. <laughs> Good old frame traps, you know. All right, so we're giving the strain a lot of go. We're giving this train a lot a try. Wrong me. Now hazards are off by default because the train the mod. You have to make sure it's off though. Okay, here we go. Of course, we're going with Joker here. You already know, we're not going with nobody else. All right, y'all, so uh, I'm making this video real short and not three hours long because I can't actually do that. Joker. But now uh, I'm just gonna go with the train of mod pack and a few combos, just keeping it short and sweet. And of course, it's not practice if you're not fighting against Palu. I uh, sit back because it's a lot of stuff to unpack here, so <laughs> get ready for it. First up, we have obvious mash, and there's literally every option here. Usually, air dodge stays on because it has pretty good utility for anything you want to practice. And then there's jumping. Well, jump is good because I mean, obvious reasons jump is good, not how to catch double jumps, but they don't jump to an angle, they jump straight up. It's pretty bad. Yeah, it's just about every option here. I like it. Oh wait, and I kind of lied to y'all because <laughs> uh, there's no dash attack. Yeah, we're missing that and a few other options that slip in my mind right now. Yeah, and then next we have follow up options. Those are literally the same things like the, the first option. It's just like, what do you do after you take the first option? Quite simple. Yeah, then we have Mash and Neutral, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you. This is all it is. It's pretty cool, right? Alright, on to the next thing. And DI, not much to be said here, because we all know how important this is in practice mode. This should already be in the base game, but of course, it is not in the same way as DI too. Like, why do we have this? I mean, we kind of have it, but we don't. And then, Air Dodge Direction. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, next we on the shield options, and this is pretty. It's pretty cool too. Like infinite shield. Basically, when you hit them, it doesn't go down at all. Look, I'm about to smack your shield, and nothing's happening at all. That's pretty good, right? I'm gonna show you the other option, which is hold. It's basically normal shield. It can be broken. It goes down. You know, the usual. All right, now I'm gonna tell you how the save states work real quick before we get into frame advantage. And if I can turn this character around, that'd be nice. Thank you. All right, that's good. Now watch. You saw that light, right? That was me making my save state. It's like no matter what I do, I can always return back to that to that, uh, to that position with X and up. Save states might be one of my favorite things about this uh, mod pack because it has so many uses from like just from like situational uses to like combos to anything. Just you can think of anything with this. It's so good. Alright, we're gonna go to frame advantage now. That's enough of save states. Um, this, there's one thing I gotta tell y'all though. Frame advantage is, is really accurate. It's really accurate. Like, it even takes staleness and height into consideration. Cause that's like you have to think about that when you wanna uh, be safe. Basically, if you move it stale, it's gonna be more unsafe. That's cause of the reduced shield stun because of the staleness. And then there's height, at least for back air, the lower you are when you do the move, the safer you'll be. The actual numbers itself, like the actual frame data, have nothing to do with spacing, but just height. And y'all probably wonder what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm trying to show y'all that staleness does affect safeness. As you can see, it's minus 17 now, when it was just showing it was minus 15. See? Look at the height. Look at the height I'm doing that, and look at the uh, frame data. It's not supposed to be minus 10. Well, <laughs> it's supposed to be much more unsafe, but look here. That's not height, but it has to do with timing of your back here. Still unsafe. Look, look, look. Minus 15. This option is pretty much how many hits touch shield before they do an action. So if you want to practice multi hits on shield, then just come in and put the desired amount of hits on shield. It's pretty easy to understand. I'm going to show y'all real quick though. Yeah, you got to make sure they have an option pick though. If not, they'll just stand there. I'm going to pick something like grab real quick. Where is it at? Down here? 
Um, chat. What? Uh, that ain't happen. One, two, three, four. See? And then the last hit, it should act. Pretty simple, right? One, two, three, four. Fifth hit, show act. Reaction time is how many frames they delay their next action by. Right here, this is 30. And see how she took forever? Okay, now she's doing it immediately. What the? F uh, help me? What the? F what? Now she's. Bruh. Uh, hold on. Oh, now she want to take forever. But what? I don't. Hmm. Uh. Yeah. Like right there. What the? F oh, it's on reset. Okay. Okay, I see. I see. It's on reset. That's kind of weird. Anyways, this is self-explanatory, but I'll show you. This is broken. She's not. I think it should needs to be smaller. Uh. We're gonna put all. Is that tilt? I can't tell. <laughs> On the other stuff. Oh, this is probably my favorite. Oh wait, she's tilting now. Really? Next we have ledge options and ledge delay. It's mm, it's pretty straightforward. The same with tech options too. They do whatever you tell them to do, but if you pick more than one option, they will mix it up. And you saw her just five dodge after that? That's a defensive option which I failed to so right here where is it at down here yeah if you pick more than one they're gonna try to mix them up it's really good for honing your reaction time yeah then we have missed tech options which is pretty much the same thing as uh regular tech options try to mix it in with the regular tech options to improve your jab while game or just get hit by the hit up attack that that works too you know aerials so for this you gotta do uh, for this you gotta do uh something else like you gotta have a mash toggle and just have him do a move. So yeah, she's doing forward air. And quick mash in neutral, she's gonna do it in neutral. Basically, she's gonna do it without you hitting her. And we have a lot of options. Like, do you want her to fast fall? Yes, we want her to fast fall. What's the delay on the fast fall? 15 frames. I don't know anybody in their life will do that, but. I mean, the, the most would be like five frames, but you gotta mix in following air, following areas. Aerial delay, uh, not much to say here. Just how long they wait to do the aerial. And then it gave you a full hop or a short hop choice. It's pretty in depth. And now with this, you have Wi-Fi Potlu. Curry practice. Fun, right? And of course, this mod pack will not be complete without uh, hitboxes. Don't worry about the hitboxes, though. They'll be they'll be coming soon. Pretty much the next video, so be on the lookout. As I said earlier, hazards cannot be turned on and off mid-game. You have to go to the menu for that. And then save states have been talked about. So that's going to be all for every feature you can do. If they jump, that's on them. That's all I gotta say. No, that's actually a thing. That was DI out. It's even worse if you hold in. I mean, obviously you can air dodge. I lied. <laughs> Good old frame traps, you know. Never mind. You just get hit. You get hit regardless. Hmm. Oh no, she can't mass counter. Yeah, she can't mass counter, yeah. <laughs> she literally got smacked in the face. This is, this is really uh, easy.
<laughs> you trying to come back to the stage? I don't think so. It just works all of a sudden, yo. I was having the hardest time with Balu. She's free all of a sudden. Right. Yeah, see, like, <laughs> it's supposed to be consistent. It's okay to just devise me and, like, let me drag you down. She's like, no. I don't think height you have to do anything, but it's her pots and like how up there affects uh Paulo Lieutenant when I'm when I'm trying to drag it down. If you know, you know because you saw the infinite video, you're a homie if you saw it by the way. But yeah, um I'm 99% sure it has to do with that. <laughs> Cause I just can't drag her down. But like watch me do it on Mario. I'm switching on Mario right now. How many times I practice my drag downs? And it's like this is escapes. Yeah, I'm gonna try Mario. Like, <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, I just can't drag down. Okay. <laughs> oh, but it works on Mario just fine, right? That might be just a little bit. Oh, it's just working, huh? Like, it's working just fine on Mario. Like, literally just fine. Oh, <laughs> it's Paul Lieutenant just being tall and it may be bad at the same time. Remember, I said about the Arsene hitbox, it's literally massive. So, it's, it's gonna be a lot harder to get a drag down here. It's much harder because the hitbox is much bigger. Like, that right there. That's much bigger. Hold on. That right there. It's m okay. I didn't go that far. That, that's a massive. That's why you can't drag down with Arsene like that. Because, yeah. <laughs> that hitbox, too big. You can still get drag downs, but it's much more tight. Like, more frame perfect than it's supposed to be. It's pretty good. It's a good, like, 50 damage. If you take their jump, they cannot jump at all in there. I'll show you this later, but first let me paint it. Oh, that works. They just mash air dodge. If they don't have a jump, which I'm going to show you right now, then that's on them for one, not having a jump. See, no jump. Couldn't jump at all. You just say it right here. <laughs> no jump. And say if they do absolutely nothing here, take away all options. Bruh. No fast fall, huh? Well, first of all, it's not supposed to hit him. <laughs> but you get the you get the picture. So if you jump there, this is gone. And then you can just do that for free. This was only done. This was only done on DI out, by the way. So DIM may change it. I don't feel like testing it, but that's DI out. That is the typical uh, DI. So that's just typical. Now let's make him air dodge. In. Okay, that was a double jump. Air dodge in does like air dodge in might stop that from happening, but it's a free punish out there air dodge in, bro. Like if you, if you don't punish air dodge air dodge in. Then I don't know what to tell you. It's like I have to double jump to hit him. Nah, bro. Hold on. I promise y'all trying to F2 right there. Like, oh, it doesn't stop it. Yeah, it's just dead. Still dying in. Okay. Much better than taking a drag down. Still took a lot of damage though. 
<laughs> He's just gonna die. <laughs> the low tap. <laughs> See if this works. Don't DI out. Hmm. Nah. Oh, well. He can't do anything. Oh, man. She's just super dead there. Well, she was DIing out. We're going to see if it actually kills her with DIing. So she was at 53. So does she die here on DIN? Bro, wait. That was DIN. <laughs> Why is she dead at 50? This move? Kills at 50 at the ledge, bro. Shows how much I use forward smash. What? What's going on with that? Seems if we have rage, like even just a little bit of it, it does that. Okay. I'll do it again. Yeah, see? See? Look, no rage. Yeah, easy enough, but that's no SDI, so we're gonna do every SDI, yo. Yeah. Except for neutral. Well, I mean, it makes a bit of a difference, but he's still stuck in there. Yeah, he, mm, it kinda, kinda. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make a difference really, but it kinda does. He's still screwed though. Can't do anything. <laughs> what? You get like five drag now on the new man. One, two, three, four. You get like four drag downs on him. Yo, how do you lose this matchup? What is this? All right, let's make sure he's air dodging real quick. All right, that was that was definitely air dodge. Absolutely. What do you do here? Let's see if these uh, frame two air dodges can get away from uh, up though. Oh, I may be ass way. Oh no, that's free. Yeah. <laughs> Come on with that combo, bro. <laughs> He's dead all of a sudden, huh? Super dead. Yeah, this match is plus two. That's the thing. So let's have him um, shield and I push to him. Was it really true? No footstool. Alright. Yeah, that's super true. <laughs> that is super true. You can't shoot. And then you just drag him along. Boom, boom, boom. Grab. And then do your combo. It's hard because you have to like 
You have the mass key. To get the fast range stuff. There we go. See? Completely true. Yeah, all in all, this mod pack is pretty cool. Well, the training mod is pretty cool. The rest of the stuff I have is just mods, that, like random mods that I downloaded. It's pretty cool. Definitely uh, recommend getting the training mod pack. But what I don't recommend is jailbreaking your Switch. Do it at your own risk. I'm not condoning you just going out and jailbreaking your Switch. Because it's a chance you can just you know cook yourself so be careful with that this mod pack does really help with everyday training and you will see great improvement over just like playing in practice mode without the mod pack so it feels up to me i'll recommend it to you it's pretty good but of course be careful as i said before be really careful with uh you your switch but all in all this mod pack is a 9 out of 10. the training mod pack is a 9 out of 10. There's a few things that like I want, but hey, it's it's still in the early stages of development, so I can wait. But for right now, it's really good, and yes, I just can't get enough of this right now. It's really fun. Better than playing online, though. That's all I gotta say.